Welcome to the three minute eyeball dissection. Make sure you grab some safety glasses and glove up. Let's get started. First I want to show you the tools we'll be using. Dissection scissors and a blunt probe, that's all you'll need. You'll notice the eyeball I have here is nice and clean and smooth. Well that's because I removed all of this connective tissue, fatty tissue, muscle before I got started here to save us just a little bit of time. If you're doing this dissection in lab, you're probably going to have to remove a little tissue before you begin. Let me set the camera down and let's get started. Alright, on the outside of the eye we need to identify a few surfaces. All of this area out here around the circumference of the eye is the sclera. In front we have the cornea and that's actually where we're going to make our first uh, incision. It's going to be right in between the cornea and the sclera. Before we check that out, let's flip the eyeball over to the back and let's make sure we notice this right here, which is the optic nerve, the remnant of the optic nerve. So make sure you check that out. All right, our first incision is going to be between the cornea and the sclera. We need to gently puncture the eyeball. Now be aware the contents of the eyeball are under pressure. In the front, there is the aqueous humor. In the back of the eye, there is the vitreous humor. These are under pressure. If you pop this and squeeze the eye, it will spray humor everywhere. Trust me, there's nothing funny about getting covered with humor. All right, do this very carefully. Be careful not to stab yourself or anyone around you. There we go. Safely punctured the eyeball. Let me complete this incision around the cornea. All right, we're going to flip this up right here attached to the underside of the cornea, move this back here, is the iris muscle. That's what this black structure, this black ring right here is. Right in the middle is the pupil and right behind that is the lens. Now if this animal were alive, the lens would be extremely flexible, but now that this is preserved, it's extremely hard, almost like a marble. Very cool to take a look at. This is the rest of the eye. Notice it is full of this jelly-like vitreous humor. We need to squeeze some of that out before we can continue with our cut. Vitreous humor. All right, we're going to split the eyeball in half at this point. You want to do this carefully. I'm going to miss the optic nerve there. Be very careful to keep your fingers out of the way. If you're doing this on your own, take your time. You do not need to do it this quickly because I'm a trained professional. On the inside of the eye, you'll notice this first layer right here, this light layer. That is the retina. That's what actually allows you to see. It contains those photoreceptors, the rods and cones. We need to get rid of the retina to see the layer underneath, and that is the choroid. In humans, the choroid is just like this up here. It's black. But in many types of animals, including cows, they have an additional reflective element of the choroid called the tapetum lucidum. That allows them to see in low light conditions at night. It's also what causes eye shine in many types of animals, including cows. If you look at the retina right behind the optic nerve, optic nerves right here, and then just inside of here, opposite the optic nerve, you will see the blind spot. That's where the retina attaches to the optic nerve. All right, those are our structures for the eye. I hope you learned something. Join us again for more dissections.